Hi, and welcome to Full Moon ASMR, because tonight we're going to be doing a special ASMR for the full moon, but it's not just any full moon. Tonight is known as the Harvest Full Moon, or the Full Harvest Moon, and that's because it happens right before the autumnal equinox, which takes place on September the 22nd, and the autumnal equinox is the official beginning of autumn or fall, the fall season. Also, it's sadly the end of summer, but hopefully everybody really enjoyed the summer and you're ready to experience pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin spiced everything basically. So, and also there are some holidays that are coming up in the fall season as well, such as Thanksgiving here in Canada. Thanksgiving takes place in early October, so that's coming up very soon. Now, some of the celebrations that take place all around the world, and there are many celebrations because the full harvest moon is probably one of the most celebrated full moons. Moon cakes are a Chinese pastry that are created for the Mid-Autumn Festival, which is a Chinese festival celebrating the full harvest moon that we are having right now. And the Chinese um, Mid-Autumn Festival includes a moon goddess named Chang'e or Chang'e. I'm not exactly sure how that one's pronounced, but what I do love is that they have a moon goddess, and um, they make um, offerings to the moon goddess, which are normally things like food items and things like that. There's also a celebration called Bidri Paksha, which is a Hindu homage to their ancestors, and they also offer, uh, they have offerings, uh, usually of food, uh, for that particular moon festival. There are many celebrations around the world, especially for this harvest moon, because it's one of the more important ones, as I said, because it was often known to uh, provide light in the dark, dark night for farmers to continue harvesting various crops, such as corn and fruit and um, lots of other different things. And we are very lucky, actually, to have all of these wonderful farmers that create such a beautiful bounty of food for us. And we should really respect and visit your farmer's market and buy their beautiful produce and the products that they make because they truly deserve it, uh, all of the support that we can give them. So, uh, and the Harvest Moon is sort of, to me, celebrates all the farmers who have worked hard over the last five, six months to create beautiful produce and grow beautiful things for us, to nourish us, and to make our lives so much better as a result. So here are a few astrology aspects of this full moon. It is a Pisces full moon uh, this time, and it falls just one hour after Mercury trine Jupiter, and I have no idea what that actually means, to be honest, but if you do, then there you go. And the, um, apparently the September 2021 full moon is good for making plans, according to this website called Astrology King. And it's good for making plans and business deals and legal matters 
research and travel. The chance of success is made even greater with both Mercury and Jupiter aligning with lucky stars. Well, there you go. So this full moon is a good time to get stuff done and to be successful at it as well. So there you go. And one thing I would like to do is to read you this poem called The Moon by Robert Louis Stevenson. And I have here this really big book of poems and it's called, oh, it's upside down. It's called The Treasury of the Poems. And it's a very big book, as you can see. And uh, it has a lot of wonderful and beautiful poems by some very famous poets. And one poem I'm going to find, I have to, I have to find it in here, is this poem by Robert Louis Stevenson, so I can read it to you. So... Let me just find it in here. By the moonlight. asleep in the forks 
of the trees. The squalling cat and the squeaking mouse. The howling dog by the door of the house. The bat that lies in the bed at noon. All love to be out by the light of the moon. But all of the things that belong
This is, of course, lore and in stories uh, that are told, but it's one of the more famous ways that uh, shows how the moon can affect animals and people. So while it hasn't been scientifically proven to be true, there's a lot of people that do believe that the full moon affects them and other human beings and other animals as well. Because if it has the power to affect the oceans, then surely there must be some power that the moon has over us in some way. So that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. In the spirit of celebrating this beautiful harvest of full moon, I have this uh, beautiful piece of glass that was created by a friend. It's a beautiful piece of glass art and I have it wrapped up in this uh, cloth to keep it safe and from getting scratched or broken. It's actually quite heavy. It's in the shape of a globe, like the moon. So I'll show how, I'll show you how beautiful it is. First, I'm gonna take it out of the claw. There it is, and I can use the claw to clean it.
actually, especially with the light under it, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the surface of the moon. Kind of. See? Don't you think? Kind of resembles the moon.
this. This table. 
they sound very clinky and so what I'm going to do is so you can see them better is they're very small they look like these glass rocks and I'm going to put them up here on this light See how they look. These moon rocks, they're very small, but they kind of look like big droplets of water on here, don't they? I've got two more here, but they'll be behind these others. So there we go, I've got these.
as I said earlier, based on the astrology for this full moon, there's lots of good things about this moon and the alignment of the various planets at the same time. So if you believe in that kind of thing, then this will be a very good evening for you and the next few days as the full moon continues, although tonight is the 100% 